We are also going to protect and preserve this democracy. Yeah. Yeah. Ask all of you, do, do you believe every American should be able to vote by mail like we do here in America? Do you believe that we should end partisan gerrymandering nationwide? Yeah. Do you believe that no one should face barriers when they go to cast their ballot? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we can do that with 52 Democrats in the Senate, too. That's what we are going to fight for. You know, I I'm running against someone who couldn't even admit that Joe Biden was fairly elected president in 2014. She actually launched her campaign running on the big lie, saying she had serious questions about the integrity of the 2020 election. That kind of rhetoric is dangerous. And we definitely don't need more of it in the U.S. Senate. I will always stand up for our democracy. I will always stand up for our democracy. But our rights are not the only thing on the line. It is also whether or not we make progress to build an economy that works for everyone here in Washington State, not just giant corporations and those billionaires. Now, thanks to the American Rescue Plan, which not one single Republican voted for, we have recovered all the jobs lost since the pandemic. And after four years of listening to Donald Trump say it was infrastructure week, with nothing to show for it, we sat down and worked to actually write a bill, get it passed into law, and make infrastructure decade a reality. And that was only possible because Democrats were in charge. And by the way, it was Democrats who negotiated and passed the CHIPS Act to build our supply chain of semiconductors. We are building it right here in America. And I'm so proud that it was Democrats who passed the Inflation Reduction Act to finally force giant pharmaceutical companies to the negotiating table with Medicare to lower the cost of prescription drugs for everyone. And we delivered the largest ever investment in climate action with this bill. Solution. We're going to lower energy costs, we're going to promote real American energy independence and build a clean energy economy here in Washington State and in every state across the country. And by the way, while we're on this topic, did you know that my opponent believes climate change, which we know is a global crisis, is best solved at the local level. Yeah, right? Are you kidding me? This week, Seattle had the worst air quality of any city in the world. She thinks we can fix that at a local level? Seriously. It's not just ridiculous. That is dangerous to have someone that clueless making policy decisions for our entire country. And when she was asked about how she can address the gun violence epidemic, she said, we need to secure the southern border. Well, I'm serious. So if you've listened to my opponent, and I'm sure you have, paint a picture and you feel like you're listening to Tucker Carlson or Fox News, not alone. Make no mistake, if my opponent were to win and she helps put Mitch McConnell in charge of the Senate, it will be a disaster in every possible way. That's right. We can and we need to do more to make sure our economy works for everyone, not just billionaires and corporations. With so much at stake, we have to win this November. I never take any election for granted. I'm working hard to earn every vote 
and from every community in every part of our state to get my message out. We need an economy that works for working people and families in Washington State and put them first.